you've also said that teamwork is very important. Collaboration is also very important, obviously, in organizations. What are some steps that you lay out in the book to help an organization and a team with collaboration? <clears throat> you know, many, uh, many books are written about teamwork. It's probably more about teamwork than <laughs> many, many other topics. A lot of books about teamwork and a lot of talks about teamwork. But talking about it is not enough. You really need to have structures in place that would support the intention of teamwork. And, this, and, and I think in the in book we have put the structure in place. And the structure is that um, when you define for an, a progress indicator, who is the person who drives it, who are the people who influence it, then you're identifying a team of three or four or five people. Influence it indispensably. Obviously, everybody influences everything. We're talking about the key people who indispensable influence. So that is already done in the accountability, as we mentioned before. The, the main indicator of direct impact, we call it critical success factor. Of influence, we call it critical influence factor. So you put these together, then all those books about teamwork and collaboration, then they can come to play because now you've got a structure in place for these guys to collaborate and also the results that they get, it's a joint result. So that encourages. And since these people are from different functions, you bring them together and enabling them to come up with an action plan together gradually will dissolve the silos because they don't have to go to the boss and ask permission to do something. They're together solving a problem related to an indicator that's aligned with the map.